So yeah, I remember he came out. Okay, it was Searing. I was thinking between that one at Wild Smash Wednesdays. Uh, Searing was one of his tournaments. Huh? In March, right? Yeah. So in March this year, uh, that's when Nito first started coming up. And within four to six months, this kid, this man, pretty much uh, out here this getting man. PR'd. Yeah. He was a boy. He now was never a boy. Man, this man was a grown man. <laughs> he, I see the he mustache, the beard. He was born with the goatee. <laughs> <laughs> he came out the woodworks, right? Uh, in Searing <laughs> with Ken. Put that now, character on the map here for SoCal. Put himself on the map. Getting PR'd, going toe to toe with some of the best players in SoCal already Honestly. within that timing frame. Yeah, it's amazing here. So Nito definitely one of the, uh, the hottest new players out there. Really check him out here. You, you heard it here first, folks. And he's going to be going up against his opponent, Gaio. I. Th Gaio. Yeah. He well, well he, so he told me it's a joke. <laughs> his tag, it's Gaio, uh, as a joke to back then in Smash Four for Bayo. So he actually um, used to use Bayo, Bayo you know, and Smash 4. And that's appropriate. Yeah. So that's kind of the story of this tag. It'd, it'd be... You cannot put Bayo as, as your tag. You just can't do it. <laughs> I mean, you could if for different reasons. If you're a fan of the game, Bayonetta. Game, Bayonetta's That'd a great be a horrible series. tag. Like, no. like as a Smash player. And you know that they're not going to play Bayo. If I could choose my tag, I'd choose it as Marth, even though I don't main Marth. <laughs> I would. Mine is on I'm Ness, and I don't really main Ness anymore. See? So I'm sorry, man. I mean, it's all to you, man. Pick a solid attack, one that's easy to remember for, and one that you don't want to be ashamed of when you when you get called by it and your parents ask you, like, why do they call you that? And you're like, oh. <laughs> I've never. Oh, my God. I've, 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 seen some, I've seen some younger players bring their parents, and I call their tag, and then their mom walks up to the player. Like, oh. why does he call you that? And I'm like, oh, sorry, man. Your son picked the wrong tag. You don't know me, Mom. <laughs> you don't oh, understand man. me, Mom. It's just a game. No, I'm kidding. That's why they call me Wolf here. <laughs> I've seen that interaction happening like a couple times here, but um, that's cool. I'm. <sighs> that seems like something I wish I saw. <laughs> when you're a TO, it's just as embarrassing as going to pay for stuff and then asking your mom for money. <laughs> in, in my opinion, but uh, hey, man, I'm not here to judge. I'm here. To <laughs> just <laughs> anyway. on that one. <laughs> All right, well, Nito has been practicing, of course, Terry. He does main Ken and Ryu. Uh, Terry has been a character he's been looking to practice. I love the movement. What the? He did kind of show up the movement here at Genesis Black this past weekend, uh, definitely demonstrating he is very interested in learning the character and having the character in his kit. Wow, they were so in that that I thought it was like a button check, and they just weren't hitting each other. Well. Yeah, <laughs> but look at the... I love the way that Nito is moving around yeah. because he spaces himself right away from yeah, like that range. Backs. Yeah, he dash backs enough to whiff one of his opponent for overextending. Yeah. And the characters like Pit need to get things like dash attack, nair, forward air, down tilt, and they kind of have to commit to those options. And we saw Nito stop that arrow with the power wave. Yeah. <clears throat> and I don't know how big the, the hitbox of uh, Terry's forward air is. But I don't know. It seems kind of like connect when you don't think it's gonna connect sometimes. Like so, it's it's pretty big. It's yeah. I want to say it's a big hitbox. It's more of a long hitbox because he sticks his leg out there. The whole leg is a hitbox. Oh wow! Shout outs to Drugia's mod training pack. I nice. uh, definitely was able to see some of those hitboxes. Another plug. One more. You got it. <laughs> Trying to almost get the back air there at the ledge. Really good opportunity because even if it wasn't gonna kill or anything, it would definitely put him off the stage and allow Nito to go for more edge guards. Using crack shoot, and I love the fact that he kind of moves over the platform, sets up the back air there, because yeah. he knows Gao is going to be coming right after him. Power guys are really good at read of an aggressive option there. Power guys is really good at the ledge, kind of covers a lot of the options, honestly, because it has such a big hitbox. Yeah, I just see people like just use it all the time. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that a taunt? Hey, man, I don't even look, I don't even question opponents' taunts. Taunts have no no lag, and you can cancel off of them. Taunt all you want, man. <laughs> Finally, I, I like it because it's like a message and mm -hmm. it's spicy. Wow, I'm sorry, that backer was enough damage to actually what? stop the Guardian Orbitars. That's insane damage right there. I'm that, like, sorry. Happens, right? <laughs> yeah, no, it only happens with high damage moves, and the fact that backer was enough to stop Guardian Orbitars wow. amazes me. <laughs> Down throw, yeah. Yeah, I'm a main Terry too. <laughs> Nice, going for power wave. He might try to force the high option there. Down throw, no back air, and the wow. power dunk at the high percent there across wow. the stage. That was just kind of like a break free and get the stock mm -hmm. option. Seems like uh, Terry can use that kind of, if he can get away from the combos enough, he can kind of just throw that out. Mm -hmm. But 
Speaking of getting away from the combo, look at the way that Nito's facing himself around Gale, right? Mm. Look at that movement that he's putting in there. He's yeah. making, like I said earlier, he's making sure he's away from those hitboxes yeah. and making sure he's the one getting the punishes. He moved so far back that he was able to go for crack shoot and punish Gale for being around mm. that range. Great opportunity for him to go for the side B there because he yeah. will actually kill the stock there, especially punish him for the fact that Nido has been going for crack shoot to come back on the stage. Now yeah. it's up to him to understand how am I going to mix up my recovery? Order, nice. Mm. Yeah, just a few more interactions, uh, a few more percent. Or like he's at that percent now, Gale. And Power dunk, and that'll do it from the ledge. Power dunk is a really good option at ledges because yeah, it also yeah, it's the, the direction that it also sends you, but it's also it's knockback and it's enough to actually just get rid of your opponent to let that situation there. Yeah, so there's no real good way to DI that. Right? Yeah. It's really, really tough. And not only that, uh, key, key on, uh, follow him on Twitter, key underscore alt, K-I underscore U underscore alt. He just put out a recent uh, video on his Twitter talking about some of the confirms Terry gets off a of down tilt. So definitely look into that. I did see Nido kind of pick up some of those options there. Okay, well, Gale is going to be going for Ooh, the... Gale. In my opinion, in Smash 4, there was a character that was DLC and he just did not get treated right, and that was Roy. I feel like <laughs> Hero is the new Roy. This character kind of started <laughs> off as a bit of a, like a crisis for a lot of players, and then the character swiftly died into obscurity. So we don't see a lot of heroes out there, but... Will Roy ever get a chance? I mean, in Smash 4, <laughs> in this game, like Roy definitely has a chance. That character okay. is a great height. Yeah. That, is, that character is like one of the best characters out there, for sure. Definitely. It's so scary. Yeah. It's like... With oh, oh, what? He said you were holding shield a bit too long, my friend. You gotta watch yourself. I, I think Gale's mad. I would be too, man. Yeah. All right, looking like you don't kind of have to change up his game plan, trying to understand how to move around Hero. I feel like it's, it's really hard because you, there's not a lot of Hero means out here in SoCal. Sweet T did use Hero for a second. I don't know if he still uses Hero. Yeah, I don't like the only standout that I could think of is like Salem. Yeah. And that guy. It's cool. Sounds cheap, man. He uses hero. He uses hero against Japanese players. That man is a goon. Oh, that's. <laughs> Doesn't matter, man. I love Salem. He's, he's he's kind of a cool guy to talk to. But he yeah. gets him off with the oh, rising man. tackle. Wow, that was like a perfect little. Uh, what what's the name of that move? Which one? I'm sorry. The 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 reflector move. Oh, bounce. Bounce. Yeah. That was like a perfect bounce. He, like, he bounced it away and then ran with the... Mm -hmm. uh, okay, Nido looking for some spacing here. It's kind of difficult because compared to characters like Pit, where he kind of has to like oh, get in, he character like Hero, he doesn't have to commit too much to getting in. He does have projectiles too. We did see him get him with Sizzle. We did see him get him with Forward Air. Yeah, he kind of just like, you know, bait people to come in and then all of a sudden mm -hmm. you just pick a move and... And like I said, I f this is the, I'm not saying I'm not so trying to discredit mm. Gale for his play here, but um, there are not a lot of hero mains here in Soka. So for Nido, it's, he's going to have to learn this matchup here on the fly, yeah. especially being a new Terry main. The character is barely a week old, if, if anything. Yeah, it's like, uh, he's going away with this match right now. Mm -hmm. Oh man, he's tossing, <laughs> he's uh. pressing every single command option. He's like, I'm getting anything to get Terry away from the stage. Yeah, oh, he's out of MP point. though. It's like a mind game in itself, just can't catch me. Yeah. He's, I'm sorry, as I say, he's got low MP, so he's not going to have a lot of those options from that, so. He's got Power Geyser. Nice, he goes for wow. it. You can shield it. Not a lot of shield damage, but you can shield it. Same thing about Hero. You can shield a lot of Hero's options. They don't do, like, a ridiculous amount of shield damage, minus, I think, Catch It Man break yeah. shields. Yeah, and it's just people... They get upset because they let themselves get yeah. hit by it. You have to watch your landing and your timing too, because like the frames in which you can get hit by those options can kind of mix you up here. Gets the spike. Neo slowly bringing this back to at least even stock here. Now, I mentioned you can shield them for that for yeah. a good reason. I saw a clip today where there was a hero floating off the side. I don't know how they were floating down, but then someone went out to go edge guard them. Snoozed them mm -hmm. and they fell down. Yeah? And died. Crazy. 
Oh, he went for it up all. Throw? And with the power up, up throw will do it. Yeah, because he already had power up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the only way up throw was going to kill. Hero saves the day. Um, if even if you guys don't like Hero for his RNG, <laughs> uh, the, the Dragon Quest games, Dragon Quest 11S, yeah. is actually really great uh, yeah. JRPG. Check it out. Honestly, it's a really refreshing JRPG. Let's not forget, like, Cloud came from Final Fantasy, and he's yeah. a cool character, and even though I hate him. And Akira Toriyama game. designed the Dragon Quest characters, so he's yeah. the creator of uh, Dragon Balls. Oh, yeah? No mm -hmm. one... Mm? That's why they kind of bear similarity, in a sense. Trunks. Trunks is in the game, in a sense, Heck in yeah. a sense. So Dragon Ball Z is in the game. In, in a sense, in a sense. The, the characters are designed by the creator of Dragon Ball Z. Oh. But enough about being designed here. The character that's kind of designed here for Nito is going to be Ken. That's why he's yeah. switching off to him. Yeah. Oh, he didn't even get a parry or anything. I'm telling you, you have to watch out. And hey. he gets a thwack. And that was, like, good platform play because... He knew that he couldn't like just run in, mm -hmm. and, he and you can actually. Like, I'm the, I think you can still shield Thwack too, so you yeah. kind of have to be careful. I guess he kind of like when, once he saw that he jumped, he's like, "Oh, cool, Thwack." Mm -hmm. And that's why you have to be careful from the ledge too, because the timing in which your opponent can get those can definitely only be in that perfect frame where they will punish you. All right, he's got Psych up, going for oomph. He's going for the extra damage and knockback. The only one that works similar to Psych Up would uh, be like uh, Smash Art. They yeah. work very similar in Tangent. Accelerado also, slightly, not so much. Accelerado is, the only reason why is because Jump changes Shulk's property into a floaty. Oh, and he's still heavy. Yeah. That's about the Shuriken. What a mix up here. Really good for Nita to understand that. Like, KO is not going to be ready for it, so he goes for Accelerate. And as uh, Ken, this is even. This could turn around very quickly. Yeah, it can. And all Nito has to do is be careful. He's able to shield the side B, and nice. He spaces himself a little bit away from Gaia. Are right, you staying on him? He committed. He waited for that commitment there. Seventy percent. Hadouken uh -huh. to actually make sure he has to recover low. Mhm. Mm Good opportunity. He's staying on him. He knows he can't let him go just yet. Yeah. Wow! Look at the MP regeneration just from here hitting the shield. Sizzle. Like oh, that man is going for every option, but I like the call from Mino. Yeah, he goes yeah. for the aerial after the fireball. He knows that he was comfortable with bounce. <laughs> the, the adaptation from that last situation. Mm -hmm. Nice. Goes for the double that's, jump off the ledge. That's cool because that was like a Shield. totally brand new situation too. Like. Yeah. Oh, no sweet spot from the Shoryu. Just narrowly missing it. Nice to live in. Ken and Terry have oh. close enough weights. Oomph. He's going to watch the landing and where he goes. Oh, oh, I'm telling you, he's got to watch it. I mean, I liked what he was doing before, um, where Nito was just kind of like fishing for like one stray nair mm -hmm. to maybe get like a uh, kill confirm off of it. Yeah, 44% Nito already slowly bringing this back. I felt that Gale doesn't know how to DI the Shoryu because I felt like he died a little bit too early. You can you can actually DI mm -hmm. Shoryu can, like, uh, and still survive, yeah. You just have to have the right DI. Oh, excuse you for oh. even going for jabs. Uh huh. Forward smash, flame slash, so close that may or may not have killed, but it would have sent Ken off the really far off the stage. Nice, he just gotta watch out for the landing here. Nice, holds the shield, pushes an advantage. Oh. I like that. Looks for the spacing. He sees that Gale got out of the ledge. Wow, oh, that's a. That's sure a you? Yep, dash and attack. that'll do it. Wow, and I feel like that dash attack kind of got in uh, Gale's head a little bit because he's like, oh shoot, yeah, that was not safe, and then.